Hey, what's going on? We've got yet another episode in our Cincinnati Bearcat Dynasty. Okay, uh, I forgot the episode, but don't worry, I'll edit it when I upload the video. We're playing Auburn again. Auburn is always a very, very good opponent for us to play each year. I'm saving 50 points. And the reason why I'm saving 50 points this time is because I want to see if I can get people interested in me without having to offer scholarships, uh, considering that, that we've won quite a bit. Now, I've got a punter and kicker at the top of my board. I mean, they're pretty solid dudes. You definitely do need to tackle. Going an after, We're going after a lot more people this year. Uh, let's see who actually is legitimately considering us. So we haven't offered, and, and we're still not that far behind. And, uh, you know, not a lot of guys are in the green, so I don't want to set the trend of offering. Man, getting a number one defensive tackle in the nation would be good. Uh, number one receiving tight end would be good as well. Uh, Chris Jackson, good wide receiver. Dave Davis, looks like a solid, strong safety. Good coverage guy. Uh, Ryan Oliver, number one running back in the nation. Greg Weavers, number three guard. Glenn Collier, 86 215. I mean, we scouted him. I mean, he's just got 90 speed, 84 excel. So, I don't really care about anything else. He's got 84 return. He's going to be a great athlete. Um, number seven center. He's a three-star. And he can definitely be developed. Uh, Brett Mills, number five tight end, has us first. Chris Peters has us first. Excuse me, Aaron Wheeler, 6'5", 211, and Adam Wyatt. So definitely, guys, we can go after um, that will consider us. You know, so pretty much um, everything's looking the same, except obviously for the people that left. Greg Peterson, the outstanding sophomore, he's going to start. Now behind him is Kyle Harvey. So by the time Harvey comes in, uh, let's see. So we'll give Greg two more years. And Harvey will be, let's see, a red shirt. Uh, Peterson could leave next year. So Harvey could be a 90 overall by the time he starts. Isaac Harwell is a returning All-American, backed up by Grant Humphrey. So i got two juniors. Uh, Steve Henderson's a junior. So there's a possibility we could be running low on running backs. Jermaine Smith at fullback and wide receiver. We've got Brian Fuller coming back for his senior season. Omar Mason. So, he's a freshman. We've got another one, Dustin Taw. I don't know why John Williamson's here. See, JJ's at 73. So, JJ, hmm, he's actually increased a lot. Chris Williams. So, let's see if we can make some changes here. Williamson... Bryant. What in the world is going on here? So we'll put JJ, Jer JJ there. Blew. So Williamson for C. Williams. And then I'll put in another wide receiver. I forgot his name. Chris Williams. Well, we've already got Chris Williams in. Let's put in Lawrence Bryant. So we've got good speed there. Had to fix that. Tight ends, Lionel Lemon, John Williamson, I believe he was like number two tight end in the nation last year. Uh, left tackle, Dustin Wilson. Ugh. Left guard, Torian Smith. Center, Darius Hicks, 96 overall. Andrew Thompson, he's a sophomore All-American. Coming in behind him, this dude is going to be sick. We're going to be pumping out some good centers. Right guard, Thomas Adams, 78, senior. Right tackle, Ron Robinson. He's the freshman. 
So, I mean, I can't be upset. Left end, Dustin Butler at 81 overall. Right end, Jason Davis. He's going to be sick. Defensive tackle, Preston Smith. He's a junior, 86 overall. Definitely going to get him to stay. Left outside linebacker, Clay Miller. He's a senior at 89 overall. Middle linebacker, Luke Bryant. Now, this man is going to be nasty. I don't know why they do this. That's kind of ridiculous that they <clears throat> put all these other dudes. Let's put Leroy Williams behind him. That way he's a good backup. Right outside linebacker, Brett Sanders. So who's another line right outside linebacker? Mike Johnson. Okay, there we go. So DBs. Yeah, James Daly. I mean, he's got good speed. So, but what is his coverage? Uh, yeah, he's a good three. Robbie Pittman, the junior, and Paul Howell. So, these guys are going to be solid. Yeah. So, free safety, Bobby Scales, the senior, followed by Jane Daly. Strong safeties, Art Wright, and James Daly. So, they're 98s overall. And these guys are just like sick, nasty coverages. Will Cooper at the kicking position. John Hawthorne at the punting. So, kickoff. So, kick return, Donald Purcell. I mean, we could put... Could put Fuller. Let's see, let's put... Put Art Wright there. Punt returner. Art Wright. So kicked off. Yeah. And there we go. So everything looks pretty solid. And let's see, who's in the Heisman race? That's a good one. Hmm. They got Isaac Harwell, the junior. So we can get him going, hopefully. Championship contenders, let's see what it looks like. They got us projected fourth this year, 13th next year, second, a third, first in four years. So we are the epitome of the MAC conference. All right, so it's week two, but it's a new season. We're playing Auburn again, let go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Okay, everybody's up. All right, going to slide the protection. Got to see where it goes, though. He makes it to the 48-yard line. 123 yards, okay. So Grant Humphrey checks in. He's a good power back. Good solid dude. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. I'll take nine. Yes, sir. That makes it first and ten. Line. And do cover threes. They come out screens work wide against set. cover three. Maybe. We'll see. Here's a throw. I don't know okay. anything on that. Uh, two yards. That makes it second and eight. Keep our dudes in play. There we go, Harwell. 16. This dude's tearing it up. Because we're on a drive. This offense right now is on a 139 rushing yards. Just our line is doing great. Doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Man left, man left. 
from the 21 yard line. It's first down. Cincinnati holds a field goal lead. All right, let's see, what can we do here? See everybody get your blocking. Oh, nice blitz. Nice blitz. Should have gone with my check down. Mason. No! What? How are you that aware? Oh my god. That he got beat too, man. Touchdown! What a run to take the lead. Oh. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt him. Oh, that dude is fast. Impact. I may have just thrown that away. He makes the PAT. His kick team line oh, can we strike back? This one off. Oh, Peterson, and he hurt me. All of this one, great kick. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. They just gave the defense a gift by hitting all right. the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. They'll bring him down. Here we go. Just drag him, man. Just drag him. For a pickup of three. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Gotta waste time. There we go. First down. Good job, Grant Humphrey. Gain of eight on the play. I watch for the zone blitz and change it up just to a regular run. Gets the ball here and brought down. Dang man, we're not getting any push. Six yard line. Uh, and they don't play off again. They have been playing man coverage on me all day. He's at the 40. Slings it. They fall on it. And down he goes. What do you want me to do, bro? Ugh. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the. This offense was infected by the turnover well, there last time. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. You that totally sucks. One people fumbling. Doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. And he's hit immediately. There we go. And for Fuller, he brings his receiving yardage to 100. I think the quarterback and this receiver right now are clearly in the zone. The defense got to spike the ball, man. Adjusting their defense to be able to slow him down. He now has over 100 yards receiving in this game. Hmm, that hurts. From their own 44-yard line, second down, and they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Quick throw into one of his receivers. Come on. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are. I can't believe we fumbled on that play. He goes downtown. 
The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. All right, fourth down. Okay. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. I'm playing off. Wide. Maybe. Well, you can talk about offense. That's all game. You want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come Whatever. The play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. Oh, we drop our first one. Their star player had a great game. I mean, Harwell did good, but not our team. Oh, that one burns. But we shouldn't have lost that game. We just did too many turnovers, man. I mean, hey, if you're going to lose, you might as well lose to Auburn. So let's go ahead and get into stats. That fumble on that drive crushed us. All right, so game stats, player stats. Okay, so Peterson, 250, one touchdown, two picks. Meh, the picks, they could have been avoided. Harwell ran for 142 and one touchdown. Humphrey ran for 38. Receiving Fuller, 107, Harwell, 29. Williams, 63. He did have the fumble, but I can't be too mad at the freshman. Omar Mason... Had a touchdown. Johnson 15, Toth 9, Lemon 17. Defensively, Scales led with 9, followed by Miller. Let's see, Sacks. We had 2 by Dustin Butler, the freshman. 1 by Preston Smith. And 1 by Art Wright. We didn't force any turnovers. Another guy to highlight is Luke Bryant. He had, he was just all over the field, needed him to be. So we drop one, but it's okay. We got plenty of time to recover. So we just need some things to go our way. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later.